shit, this that Z shit. Pull up in a demon on guard. Welcome back to my channel, bitch I'm so hot I had to take off my flannel, I'm lit like a candle, you niggas can't handle me, send me some more beats so I can spit another sample A. Somebody sign me right now. If you're not new to my channel, you probably already heard this little freestyle before, but anywho. Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Zarya Shakira aka Frizzy Curls aka Z, cause it's that Z shit. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my jumbo black faux locks, but of course like in any video of mine I like to show you guys how I do my hair from start to finish. So what I'm just doing is spraying my hair with some of my leave-in conditioner and aloe vera juice mixture. And then I'm going over my hair with my oil mixture which will be listed down below in the description box. And after I do that I just take in a little more of my leave-in conditioner and apply that to my entire head. So as you can see, I'll be splitting my hair down the middle just so it's easier to work with. And the leave-in conditioner I'll be using today is my trusty dusty Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Leave-In Conditioner. I've actually been using this brand on my hair since I started my YouTube channel and to this day I still use it. It's very moisturizing so I really like this product and I think you'll like it too. So now comes the parting for these faux locks. So if I'm doing a style on my hair that's going to last maybe two to three weeks, I like to start at the front because it gives me a guideline of how I want the look to look basically. And I won't have to worry about starting at the back and figuring out how I'm going to do the front, you know? So now that I've sectioned the front of my hair, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair in the size I want my faux locks to be, if that makes sense. And the hair I'm going to be using today is the Sensational Jumbo Braid from their African collection. And this hair is 100% Konekalon. And I'm going to be using the color 2. So this hair is actually only used for the braid that will be under the faux lock. I actually have three or four other videos on how I do faux locks. And they're much more detailed. But I know I have over 2,000 new subscribers. So I'm going to explain the process, but this might be one of the last times I do that. So hopefully after this video, you'll know how to do bomb faux locks. Honestly, this is really a simple hairstyle. All you have to do is just take the braiding hair, braid your hair down. It doesn't even have to be a perfect braid because if you want um, imperfect faux locks, you don't want the braid to look perfect. So yeah, just braiding the hair down and once I get to the end, I just burn the hair basically where I want the faux lock to end and that'll be the length of my faux lock. Okay, so yes, I did already moisturize my hair and things, but with me in protective styles, I like to make sure my hair is extra moisturized because I know for a fact that during the length of the protective style, I will not be moisturizing my hair. That's just not what I do. I just be lazy. So yeah, this is what I'm doing beforehand. I'm not using any different products. I'm just taking that leave-in conditioner and my oil mixture and putting it on my hair before I braid it up. And another tip when doing these braids, specifically for me and my hair and what I'm feeling with this style, I'm absolutely not going for the perfect look. I kind of want it to look a little messy than my normal faux locks. I think because I'm doing black hair, I just want them to look like they're more natural and you'll just see what I'm saying and I'll explain a little later, but yeah, they don't have to be super tight or neat at all. And one thing I did forget to mention, you want to make sure that you are braiding your hair in the direction you want it to fall, otherwise it's going to look crazy. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so boom. I was not about to be stressing myself out like I did in my last Felt Locks video. So I went ahead and did majority of my hair off camera. And this is actually the next morning because, girl, I got tired. And you'll also see why I left the ends of the hair like this. It's definitely a much more easier process in the final steps of doing these Felt Locks. But yeah, these are how they're looking. They're looking pretty good. And I'm about to show you guys basically how I do the rest of my hair. So as you already know, we're starting on braided hair. But the hair I'm going to be using to wrap around the braid for the faux lock will be the Jenna Collection Triple Afro Twist Braid and it's in their color 1. And this is also a value pack which I found to be much cheaper than buying the individual packs. And I feel like you get a little bit more hair in these but I don't know. And this hair is actually Marley hair. This is what the hair looks like outside of the pack and it actually comes in like little separated pieces and I'm only going to take two of those pieces at a time to use for the lock. So another major key alert, you want to make sure when you are using this hair to wrap around the faux lock that it is brushed out. If you don't brush it out, sis I don't know what to tell you but it's going to look a mess, I'm just going to let you know that now. Right here I'm just twisting the hair to wrap around my finger basically because I will be using a crochet needle to latch the hair through my braid. So with the latch hook open I'm taking the crochet needle under the braid and through it. And then I'm going to take that twisted piece of hair, put it through the hook, close the latch and pull it through. And I'm going to show you again just in case you missed it. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody no one who are on me. Yeah. So now what you want to do is pull one side all the way up just about to where it's maybe three to five inches. That's just going to be the piece that basically holds the lock from sliding, if that makes sense. Because when you wrap the longer piece around it, it's obviously going to, you know, hold it down and, you know, make sure that it don't go nowhere. And then you just wrap it all the way down until you run out of hair. And then you take another two pieces, brush it out, add it to the lock and keep going. Y'all, I really can't explain like how exactly to add the second piece. So hopefully the video is enough for you to understand. So sorry, but yeah. But what I can say is you want to make sure that you're continuing to wrap in the same direction. So if that doesn't help you out, um, yeah, I don't know. So once I get down to the end of the hair, you can see I'm holding that piece that I left out from the braid. It just helps me wrap it better and it actually gives you a stopping point to stop at and go back up the shaft of the hair so you can, you know, lock it right. Basically when I'm done wrapping it, there's probably only maybe a couple inches of the hair left and I just take that piece and make a few knots on it and that just ensures it's secure until I cut the excess off and burn the ends. You were meant to lie, yeah Don't wanna fight Ooh, that ain't the vibe, yeah, yeah I'm with the tribe You don't wanna try to hear me on oh my I said me on oh my, yeah and that's really all there is to it and once I'm done with all of my locks I go ahead and take my scissors and cut the little excess piece off from the braid and then I burn that and that basically just rounds it off and finishes up the lock. Oh no, 
So these are what they're looking like. And please do not worry. These are not the final, final, final results. Just wait a little, a little bit longer. So the last most important step is if you want your faux locks to be swingable, you have to make sure you dip them in boiling water. After you do that, just dry them off and then add some mousse or some wrapping foam to it and they are good to go. The wrapping foam I'm using today is the Wig Out by Style Factor Fitting Foam. And these are the final results, guys. I really hope you guys like this video. Hope you like how my hair turned out. I've really been missing my black hair, so I really just wanted to make sure if I did faux locks again, I at least do them all black because I just love black hair on me. But you can either leave your hair like this or you can style them up. If you want to see how I style them up, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But that is the end of the video today. I hope you guys liked it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Anything else? Yeah. He said, I had a guac team at Auntie House. <laughs> Anything else you want to say?